Team Bella. Welcome to the channel. It's me, your girl, Miranda Jo. And I'm here with a plan with me in my dashboard layout for the very last week of January 2024. Um, so before we get started, a few things. If you're new to the channel, I'd like to say what's up, welcome. Again, my name is Miranda Jo. And here on the Master Plan channel, we're all about positive vibes. We are all about decorating, styling our planner, providing tips to help us be more productive and to use our planners effectively. And also, <laughs> last but not least, every now and again, I am good for a good kiki. And if you don't know what a kiki is, that is a laugh. And to my OG Team Bella members, hey girl, what's up? I hope all is good with you and all is good for you. All right, so last week I had a very late plan with me, and this was that plan with me after the pen. So I always like to start my video showing that because I think there is a misconception sometime in the planner community that some people just decorate their planners just to decorate their planners. Well, I decorate my planners and I use my planners and I always want you guys to see me exercising that. All right, so we are going to grab this page and go ahead and pull it out. And I have decided to use... Yes, I know that these don't match, but never you mind. Never mind. We will make it work. We will make it right. Let me just pull this up so that we can see everything that's going. Okay. We don't want to pull up. All right. Let's try that again. So we can see everything that's going on. Okay. Okay, team, so I used this one sticker book this week, Winter Icons, Volume 2 by Kel of a Plan, and I chose the hot cocoa theme. So bear with me here and hear me out as to why I chose this theme, and it's so fitting. So today has been so cold here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Only thing I could think about was a cup of a nice hot cup of hot cocoa. So it was very fitting for me to use this sticker book. So that is where the inspiration came from. All right, so in the uh, effort to conserve time, of course, I have already pulled our stickers. So what we're gonna do is grab our planner sheet here and we are just gonna white out the areas that we typically white out in a weekly you anyway now I have some areas here last week where I used the that um, zig dupe marker and it bled through my page okay so let's get the first sticker laid down and this sticker is really like that you know there's always a sticker that to me sets the tone for your spread or it might have been your inspiration sticker for your entire spread so this sticker was my inspiration sticker for my entire spread it says it's cocoa day and i don't know if there's a hot cocoa day coming up but i feel like for these colors and and, and for all intents and purposes here this will work um so I just had, I have some stickers layered here and one of them just kind of tore a little bit, but I'm not really worried about it. I just want to use all this color scheme. I really, really love. So I'm going to lift this sticker up just a little bit because I really want to put the um, cozy kind of on top of this sticker. Okay. So we're going to lift that up just a little bit and we're probably going to end up whiting out the top portion that's going to be under this sticker because I don't want it to show through and I typically like some people like they cannot stand it at all and I get it there's just certain things that I just can't stand but this showing through is typically not one of them but today it is definitely I didn't want it to show through right there okay and so one of the other colors that's in this color scheme is also gray. So I wanted to line this uh, gray or layer this gray sticker here. And this is actually going to show through here as well. So I'm going to put a little bit more white out right there. And I, as I mentioned, I did tear the sticker a little bit. So it's a little torn, 
but by the time you lay it down, you can't tell. Okay, so those are our primary colors. We're gonna see these beiges, these pinks, and the, the gray. All right, so here on this opposite side, I normally, um, I have two areas. One where I notate bills that will be paid during the week. I do have a budget planner, but I like to notate it here as well. And so what we're gonna do is use this nice, pretty pink box right there. So we're definitely going to cover that seam up. And then I have a cute little sticker that I want to put right here. And we're going to have to hit a little bit of, um, I was looking to see if I had my, um, my little black marker. So here's actually a cup with hot cocoa and it has like whipped cream and maybe berries. I don't know how that goes, but it's all good. All right, so next thing we're gonna put down is the sticker that I would be using for, um, that I would typically be using for, this one is either a running to-do list or bills. So I, I fluctuate these two stickers, these two boxes and these two areas. All right, so then I went in and I tried to find some meaningful quotes to winter. Um, this one doesn't have anything to do with hot cocoa, but it says winter is a season of recovery and um, preparation. And so I was like, okay, that's very fitting. And we can lay that right there. Okay. Now here on the bottom side, I found this cute little girl and she's got her hot cocoa and there's a little table and it's so cute. So I want to put that there. And then I found a hot cocoa quote, so you know I had to use it. And it says, can't hardly see it. Winter is my favorite. Let me put it on a paper. So it, winter is my favorite. You get to wear comfy clothes and drink hot cocoa. So I definitely wanted to put that on there to represent our hot cocoa spread. And then I also have this really cute little table that I really like. It's kind of like that table over there, but I'm actually going to put it up here because it has like string lights on it. So I wanted to put that right there. And again, it says hot cocoa day, but I wanted to also um, put some of these comforting things around. So for instance, <clears throat> I have some pillows. And so I want to, I'm going to snip part of this off so that I can put it perhaps right here without blocking anything. And it's gonna be difficult because I'll be covering up this area um, with washi tape. Okay, and then the other thing that I wanted to put next to where it was saying um, season of, um, of recovery and preparation, I wanted to put this little comfy stack of pillows nearby as well okay now see this is sticking up a little bit i'm gonna take my little adhesive and i'm going to just stick it down there and it's blue but it will dry clear and i don't know why that's sticking up okay so i am here for all of this you know what i'm gonna change this i want this to be gray because and i think that's too close i'm gonna bring it up here i'm gonna make this one gray and the reason why I want to make that one gray is because I, I want to bring in more pops of gray because we're going to have some um, pops of gray on the opposite page. So if I can get a gray box and I have one right here and we're going to put gray here instead. I think that is cute. Yeah, I'm here for that. If it's straight, I'm here for it. If it's not, then I'm not here for it. Okay. Yes, okay. That's clearly upside down. Upside down and inside out. All right, let's do it. All right, there we go. Wonderful. All right, so for the opposite side, before we have to decide on the washi, what I did want to do is I wanted to make sure that we Huh. I'm going to put this down here. And the reason why I'm choosing to put that down on the bottom is because I want 
this gray up here. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. And then we have the blue. Okay, so we're gonna put the blue over here. All right, and then we have this cozy pink and we'll set that in the middle, okay? And the cozy pink looks a little cozy crooked. So let's see if we can get that off. Lift it back up and put it back down a little bit straighter. All right. No, it's not quite straight. Let's see if I bring it. I used to be able to put sticker straight if I brought it upside down. I seen someone give a suggestion the other day, turn it sideways. So let's try the sideways thing. Okay, I can dig sideways. Okay. All right, so we have that. Now, I did not have like this larger sticker here, but I wanted to make sure that I brought a pop of this hot cocoa kind of color in. So I have it here and I'm gonna be layering it with um, that blue sticker. Okay. All right, now. Now I do want to go in and I do wanna use bullet points this week, the sticker bullet points, actual bullet points. And um, I want to make sure that we bring in all the colors that we're using. So we definitely have the pinks. And these bullet points are a little bit big, so I will just be alternating them. And I wanted to do the blue. And I'm gonna do the gray because we have hot cocoa there, that hot cocoa color. Well, we can put this hot cocoa here, it's fine. All right, and then we are going to, oops, let's put the gray here. Let's start this one with gray. And let's do the hot cocoa in the middle. And let's see if we're gonna do blue on the bottom. And on this other side, I think we are going to do blue first, gray in the middle, pink on the bottom, blue, gray, and pink. Okay. All right, so I like how that looks. Now I'm gonna grab, and I do have a bunch more um, like little icons and stuff that I want to um, incorporate in the spread. So um, I wanna bring this here, this cozy. I'm gonna cut it off just a little bit because we still want to be able to write. So that's cute, that cozy with the macrons, I like that. And then I feel like over here, we could put something, very much so something. So there's a bunch of things. We have the pajamas, we have a stack of blankets. I think the stack of blankets would look really cute because the blankets actually have every color that we are trying to bring to the situation. So I'm going to take this. I don't want it all to be here. Maybe it's like that, that's okay. All right, and then down here at the bottom. How about these gray pajama pants? I think these would be cute. And we can take these and angle these this way. Okay. And then seems like we need something here. I don't wanna put pink there because we already have pink, but what about these planners? They look like Aura Estelle planners or Aura Estelle planners. And what if we brought those planners kind of right here on the edge? Okay, now I do use this spot for my dinner. So I'm gonna bring this blue up here. That should be fine. Okay, let's see. Okay, 
I don't know. I have more icons left and I think we should use them. So I am going to place this ball of yarn right there. And I'm going to take this, I have a little plant. I'm going to try to put it on this table or maybe behind this table right here because I think it'll look pretty cool if we layered it. What do you guys think? All right. And I have a plaid washi that I picked and I think it will work. Let's just see how this is going to work. Let's see. Just a little bit. I think that looks great. Okay, we added that on there. Um, we've got these cute little pins, I think these are. So I'm gonna place those here in this area where we put dinners. I think that's a good place for that. Um, I don't know, I have this cute little polka dot thing. I really don't know what it is, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it here. Okay. All right, I think that this has just enough of everything that we need. I'm gonna cut off the little pieces. I got little tiny pieces that are hanging off the corner. Okay. Now, let's see. What do you guys think about, oh, it doesn't match. See, that's why you have to pull your stuff to see what's going on with your stuff so i have to find a washi tape that is going to match now from this planner spread i do have a couple of stickers left over and so i've been using this trying to use this book to put sticker remnants in so that i don't leave them on washi on a uh, wax paper or i waste the sticker just because i didn't use it so we'll just put that back in the little washi book and then i feel like I had a periwinkle kind of colored washi tape as well. I don't quite know where it is. And I don't know, I do definitely want to put something here. I thought about putting some grid washi there. I mean, it could work, but I don't like it. <laughs> but I feel like I gotta cover that washi up and something has to give, something has to go there. So let me uh, figure that out and I'll be right back with my select. So this blue actually works. Um, and even if it's a little thin, I think I'm okay with it. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty. It's gonna really um, drive home the blue. So we are gonna put this like so like that. And we're gonna tear that. I'm gonna do the same thing on, oops. Well, I thought we were gonna do the same thing on this side. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go, yo. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so we had difficulty on this side and I think it was because I actually um, punched um, washi tape last week. But I really wanted to cover this up because this is where I kind of franken plan both of those, um, both of those. Both of those planners. So, um, yeah, this tore just a little bit, but I'm okay with it. It's not too bad as long as it goes back on my planner page. I'll just have to be careful. But again, this does complete my spread. And if you enjoyed three things for me, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you soon. Ciao, baby.